Hi, this is Clint Cora. One of the most common tasks for dog grooming is to trim dog nails. Now, this is actually something that many dog owners are fearful of. A lot of dog owners would rather pay a dog groomer or a vet to trim their dog's nails. But it doesn't have to be that way. It's actually quite simple if you know what you're doing. Let me show you a diagram first. So here's a cross section diagram of a dog nail. This is the nail and this red area represents what's called the quick. This is where the blood vessel is. When you trim dog nails, if you get too close to the quick, this will result in bleeding and pain and you obviously don't want to do that to your dog. So the trick in trimming dog nails is just to take off a little bit at a time like over here, which this line represents. Just a little bit off the tip, away from the quick, and it'll be quite safe. Now, for white or light colored dog nails, you can actually see where the quick is, so you can estimate where to trim. Where it becomes tricky is if your dog has dark colored or even black dog nails. Now for my girl Roxy, most of her nails are actually white. I think she has one black dog nail. For my boy, it's the complete opposite. Most of his dog nails are black, so I can't see where this quick is. In this case, basically, you have to estimate. And it's best to go conservative and just trim off a little bit at a time, not too much. If you just do this a little bit at a time and on a frequent basis, over time this quick will start to recede and that's a good thing. The other thing you can do is make sure that your dog spends some walking on hard surfaces like sidewalks. When they are on hard surfaces like concrete for example, the concrete will help grind the tips of dog nails down a little bit and that's a good thing. There are two general types of nail clippers to use. One is like a guillotine style. The other one is like this. This is like a scissor style. I used to use the guillotine style, then I switched over to this one here, the scissor style. I prefer this one, but you can use either one that you like. So to trim my dog's nails, I found that the easiest position is to sit on a little stool like this or even on a chair. So, I'll get my boy Chester to demonstrate with you. Chester, come over here. Let's do dog nails. Good boy. So, what I'll do is I'll position him like this, and to access, let's say, his hind feet, I'll just lift it up and bend it. Bend it up in there. I have full access to all his nails. So, let's just do one for a demonstration. Show you how easy it is. I don't want to do too much. Here we go. There, done. Now, as an example, to access the front paws, it's the same thing. I'll just bend it up like this, and there, I have access. There, done. So I would repeat for all of his nails on all four legs. It's that easy. We'll show you a close-up. Okay, so lift it, lift it up here. Let's find a nail. Here's one right there. There, that's done. Do another one. Done. We'll do another one. There, done. There, try the front, up like this, good boy. Let's do another one. Again, you don't have to take off very much, just a little bit off the tip. feet. Good boy. One more over here.
Good boy. Now, just in case if you do a boo-boo and you make one of your dog's nails bleed, the easy way to stop the bleeding is just use a little bit of cornstarch or flour, put it at the end of your finger and just dab it at the end of the dog nail. So flour or cornstarch and that would help stop the bleeding. I hope you enjoyed this video. So as you can see, trimming dog nails is not that big of a deal. It's pretty easy to do right at home. By the way, if you're interested in training your puppy how to use a dog litter box at home inside, go to our website pottytrainpuppydog.com. You'll also find there a free general basic dog obedience training video that you can access and it stars both of my Lassa Apsos, Chester and Roxy. See you there.